Good morning, everybody. I hope everyone <clears throat> had a wonderful Mother's Day and honored your mother, whether she's here or not here, um, and got some awesome, I don't know, I had a great Mother's Day. I literally did not get out of my pajamas all day, which is something that I wanted to talk about because um, I'm all about restoring and regenerating and resting. And um, I wanted to talk to you about this book, which is The Heroine's Journey. I've got to do a super quick live today because my, my morning's a little crunched. But The Heroine's Journey by um, Maureen Murdoch is awesome. And the whole concept of the hero's journey. I know if you've been following me for a while, this is like I talk about it at nauseum, is that we're all on these journeys to learn about ourselves and our lives. And the hero's journey by Joseph Campbell is um, really just based on a male um, perspective. And you go out and you slay the dragon and you come back with all the nuggets of wisdom. And, and that's not pretty much it, but that's the short of it. But the, the, um, the heroine's journey is similar, but the one way that it is different is that, um, is that it's, uh, instead of going out and slaying the dragon, what she talks about is going into the cave and resting and deep diving into your feelings and deep diving into healing and really nurturing that divine feminine aspect of ourselves, okay? And um, she also explores the patriarchy, okay? And how that has conditioned um, females um, to really just be exhausted, okay? And it's like we have been conditioned to go to college and to start the career and get married and have kids and join the PTA and rise the ranks of business and shuffle kids to their appointments and birthday parties and all that kind of stuff, right? Um, by doing all the things, right? But I, by the way, I went to a networking event in person on Friday and it was amazing and I won... So a raffle, which are these amazing, amazing candles by malicious women. Okay, follow them on Instagram. They're amazing. They smell amazing. And I'm super sensitive to um, smells. So this is really good. And this candle is called The Anger of Having to Fight for Human Rights While Also Taking Care of Literally Every Fucking Thing on This Planet. Is that not rad? and it's infused with women's labor. <laughs> it came in a set. The other one is, I'm still speaking. And this one's infused with man interrupting. Fucking love it. Anyway, um, and so because we're following this like patriarchal system subconsciously, we're just burnt out and stressed out and wondering like what the hell went wrong and why, why right? And so, According to the book, there is a deep ancestral conditioning of the 1950s housewife serving her husband, the martini, essentially, right, and making banana bread has had a huge impact on our psyche, okay? And so our mother's generation has fought against it, right? And this book was written in 1990, just FYI, right? And became like, we could do it all and like, you know, the 1980s power woman, right? Which is great, but here's the clincher. Like we were also doing the shopping and the caretaking and the cleaning and all of that stuff, right? So we weren't just working and then coming home and getting the martini and the banana bread served. We were doing it all, okay? And so now it's all out of um, harmony. And so we have to learn how to strike that balance, okay? And according to this book and me, we want that nurturance and support, right? Like we want the martini, the banana bread. And so the heroine's journey is all about how to take care of ourselves. And I'm going to add, and the division of labor. Okay. <clears throat> so that we could rest and we could be, and we could receive, and we could magnetize what we want in our lives and create that space. So the, the feminine <clears throat> is embracing that darkness, okay? Embracing the mystical, the magical, 
and that intuitives, okay, and that intuitive. And so we, in order to get there, we need to rest and we need to tend to ourselves. That is what I wanted to share with you all today. So I hope you got some rest this weekend. I sure did. And I will um, see you on the flip side. Mwah. Bye.